e bo ni pros and cons e ni amami no okay you see yes say eh Okay. And this is somebody that is successful in that field. Okay. Into your car, Sema, it needs some attention. Yes, attention. Mm -hmm. Now, when he says Afrobeat has no substance, mm -hmm. you see. At a bit more, since in our kind, a bit more, some people would agree, some people would not agree. Mm -hmm. The likes of Bonticula would not agree. Here are the positives. Would not know. agree. Yes, would not agree. Uh, like, would agree, uh -huh. Bonticula would agree. Yeah. Sorry. You see, we have mu music come in different forms. There's music for the soul, music for the mind, and music for the feet. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are for all these three mm -hmm. and there are some people who at every point in time pay attention to particular songs in like whether it is for the feet it is for the soul it is for the mind at each particular time mm -hmm. but some people when they take a record or a song they are looking for all these elements in one song okay into your no no when you miss one element to some people, when they take music, it's supposed to appeal to their feet, it's supposed to appeal to their mind, and it's supposed to appeal to their soul. Mm -hmm. When you miss one, they will tell you, say, you, you didn't score. You didn't score. Your song is light. Mm -hmm. So you see what Kojo can or say first, no more tron your ma. Before somebody brings a record out, they they do all these assessments before they record. That is why you you listen to a dead or a yenum. A yarahunum, Babit Vidyasa. A yarahunum, who son? It is one that is also advising you, so it is appealing to your mind as well. Mm. 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 But it is also appealing to your feet. Okay. As well as your soul, which will give you some, which will bring that emotions out of it. Okay. Now, Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. What Bernard Boy is saying clearly display the diverse opinions that people have about the general Afrobeat. See, there are some players in, in who are doing Afrobeat today that will say, oh, Afrobeat is the easiest general that you can ever do. Sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's the easiest in terms of composition. In terms of delivery. composition, delivery, and even putting everything together. They will tell you. Mm. And that is, that is what will push Bernard Boy to say, Quote and unquote, it has no substance. Because the substance that he's looking for no, is not difficult. Like the substance in the Afrobeat songs that are flying are not so difficult to find. Okay. You don't need any proverbs in there. You don't need to appeal to somebody's mind in, in a high way, like critically. You don't need that. That is why he can say Igbo and Shayo. Igbo is weed. Mm. That is what he is flying. That is what he is taking awards with. It, it will not appeal to your mind for you to enter into some deep, deep thinking critical mood. thinking. Me. No. But listen to Bob Marley's songs. Even songs that were recorded over two decades ago still speak to people's mind as we speak. Still have things happen and they refer to those songs. Mm. Because those songs were were well composed, well written. It had an agenda. But you see, most of these ones, they don't. Like it is it is not so difficult. The people who who go the extra mile to do it, yes, they are there. There are some people who wouldn't also look at the fact that because it is easy to find. Mm -hmm. Some people will go. Kojo, Kojo is be kind. Look at the West in there. There are so many people who have done Afrobeat, and when you listen to the substance they put in there, it's heavy. It's heavy. But when you want to make that comparisons in terms of okay, the ones that are heavy and the ones that are not heavy, which ones are more in the system? You realize that the ones that are not heavy are more. Mm. 
And it also exposes how music is made and consumed in modern times. That is what this conversation is exposing. It means that currently, as we speak, you don't need to tie yourself and kill yourself to do music again for people to love you. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it, fine, nobody will stop you. But you can equally do it, quote and unquote, anyhow. And if you have the resources to push, you will still go. Anyhow. Yes. You will still go. If you have, that is if you have the resources to push. You will still go. Mm -hmm. You can do it anyhow and you will still go. You don't need to kill yourself like that. But some, the reason why some people would not accept this coming from Benna Boy is because he is also indirectly downplaying what he is rather pushing. You see, Afrobeat has been packaged in a way to the rest of the world. It, they receive it with some form of respect. Yeah. They receive it with some form of, uh, how do you call it, respect that they know, okay, this thing has been packaged well. It is heavy. It has a lot of branches and lots of elements. So when you come, and you the person that has been able to package this, you come and tell them, oh, this what are they? Oh, I just took it from the, 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 the water at the back of your house. No. You don't expect them moving forward to put that utmost respect that they used to again. Because it is coming from you. Are, you are the creator of that. Mm. And you're telling them, oh, this one that you people are respecting, Kran, it's not heavy like that. So me, in some aspects, I would agree with him because when I cast my mind into the space and I want to weigh the Afrobeat songs that are on heavy rotations more. Most of them do not have substance like that. I see. <laughs> well, um, his name is Roland Amate.